stock selection, volume. Um, volume is important because it tells you how many shares a day a stock's traded. Okay, so if you had Apple, what's the volume on Apple? Eleven million. Okay, eleven million shares bought and sold. So that's that's a, a, a huge company. Multiply that by the stock price, it's like an astronomical figure, you know. So Apple's huge. Now, why is that important? Because there's so many people in Apple. People are here talking just like we are tonight about Apple. That's how many people are in Apple besides us. That once it goes down, once it sells off. Once, you know, Carlos Slim calls his buddy and they sell Apple, there are going to be people who are going to buy it because there's that many people in. So that's stable. Because if it goes down 25 points, like I mentioned, there will be buyers. Hey, Apple's down 25 points. Let's get in now. So get, the, get the call option. <laughs> so um, there will be support. At the same time, the other problem is once it is, shoots up, Carlos, Apple shot 25 points, we're going to sell, sell everything, they're going to sell, so it's going to come back down. So it's more stable, and that's more like a defensive position, uh, and that's better because it, it protects you more. So bigger companies are better in that way. Smaller companies, let's say under $2 billion, which, which is less that I like to buy. I like to buy at least $2 billion. Envo, you know, it's like $800 million, I think, don't remember. When that stock sells off, Carlos is not in that stock. He's in, he's in Apple. You know, this is small people, small time people. Oh, this stock sold off. You know, there won't be a lot of buyers. At the same time, it shoots up. Um, there's not that many people selling. Hey, you know, shut up. You know, Carlos doesn't even know about that stock. He's not even on his list. He only buys stocks that are fifty dollars or more, hundred dollars or more. You know, be like, oh, but what's that? You know. Um, like a billion dollars, like a billion dollars. Like he makes a billion dollars waking up in the morning. He's not going to have a vessel that comes a billion dollars. So it can shoot up. It can go up 10%, 20%, 50%. It can double. Not that many sellers. So kind of like an option. It's more aggressive. So you can make more money. But here's the thing. If you're, in, if you're doing aggressive trading and you're doing stable conservative trading over here in Apple, you're doing aggressive trading here in Envo. What's going to happen is mathematically, the person in the aggressive trading is going to lose. Mathematically. Because there's, three, there's two ways that he can lose. Only one way he can gain. And when he loses, he's losing more. Because it's more risky. But the, uh, the other guy with an apple, he's going to be mathematically better off. Because he's not going to make as much money. But he's not going to lose as much. And... When you lose, is worse than when is is when you lose is is stronger than when you gain, in in a bad way in a good way. Let me explain that. Um, let's do some math. Um, let's say we get to to the stock. So give so give me a return you want to make. What percent you want to make a return? Um, well, let's go with four percent. Four percent. So so you get start with hundred k, and what will you come out with when you make your four percent? Hundred and four K. Okay. Conservative, you made your money, pay your bills, come back the next month. But if you but if you um, lose money, like in an aggressive stock, give me an amount give me an amount of money that's too much to lose. Uh, the whole portfolio or on one stock? Just one stock, like a percentage. Uh, well, I don't know that number, but let's say that you're that you're told was to make four percent. Let's say two percent. I don't know. Okay, so if you lost like twenty five percent, that would, would be acceptable, right? No. Okay, so oh, here's the total. Portfolio. Yeah, I'm the yeah. position. So if you lost twenty five percent, how much is of that hundred thousand is going to going to be left? Well, depending on were they like ten positions? No, hundred thousand. One position. Oh, minus twenty five percent. Oh, twenty five thousand. So you're gonna have what left? Seventy five. So here's the thing, okay? If you're an apple, you lose or gain about four percent. Let's just keep it like that. But if you're an envo, 
your loser gained twenty five percent. And if you lose twenty, if you lose twenty five percent, you're going to be at seventy five percent. It's going to be so much harder to get that back. It's going to be five times as hard to get that back to a hundred thousand even than if you only lost four thousand. So you have to look at the losses as greater than the gains in that way. The gains are easy, nice. Let's keep them coming. But the loss, oh man, you got to really like watch that loss. You guys, you heard of Sun Tzu? The ancient art of war? He's, a, he's, a, he's an old philosopher. He says, uh, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Which is to say that the enemy can hurt you more than your friend can help you. Okay? So the enemy is that, is that loss that you're going to take in the future. So cut that down the most you can. So the philosophy here is to go with more large, more stable, and take smaller increases, but you don't run the risk of yes. taking that huge exactly. cut that could just wipe you out for exactly. many months. Which is what you can get on a small stock or an option, okay? And then you get less of that risk on a bigger stock, Apple, or or a, a tiny company over 10 billion or 20 billion. But you're not going to see the huge swings up, but that's right. the plan, it's just to go small right. and consistent. Right. But you're not going to get killed to where you can't come back. Right, right. You know? And that's important.